now that we have TWRP and root working together properly, today I want to show you how to create your first Nandroid backup on the Pixel and Pixel XL. And the benefit of this type of backup is that it will create a full backup of the partitions that you select which can be your internal storage, it can be all of your applications, all of your games, all of your photos, and all of the settings, configuration, and app data that you have. So to start, we need to boot up into TWRP, so we need to boot into our custom recovery. If you're unfamiliar with how to do this, or unfamiliar with how to install TWRP as your custom recovery, be sure to check the description below this video as I'll have a link to the full tutorial which will walk you through the entire process of how to get that done. So now that we are at the TWRP main menu, we're just going to need to tap on the backup option. Then we're going to go through here and select all of the partitions that you want to create a backup of. I'm just going to go ahead and select them all. Some of these will be required like system and system image, vendor and vendor image, but stuff like your data, which is your internal storage, in your boot and even the EFS is just not required but it's nice to have so once you select all of the partitions you want to back up we're going to tap on the name field and it's good to go ahead and name it something that describes how your current setup is so my current setup is stock with TWRP and with the root. Now if you don't have root you can drag that back up again. You can name this whatever you want. You can even leave it with the default name. I've just found that it's good to have a description to describe exactly how this device is set up. So then I'm going to tap on the append date option as well so it will tell me exactly what date it is and then once that's done you're gonna tap on the blue check mark check mark button at the bottom right to select that specific name now you can come in here in the options if you want you can en enable compression which will help keep the file size down for this backup you can choose if you want to skip the MD5 generation or if you want to disable the free space check before the backup. It's just things that can speed up the backup process. And if you want, you can also even choose an encryption for this backup. I usually leave encryption blank. I don't need to encrypt my backups, but you might want to. And you can even choose the storage that you want. So you can save this to your internal storage or you can save it to a thumb drive that's been connected via an OTG cable. So once you have the name, your options, and the partitions set, you just go ahead and swipe the white arrows to the right. And that's going to begin our backup process. This is our log file and it's going to tell us exactly what's going on at the time. You can see that we have started our backup. It has backed up the boot partition. It created the MD5 for it. 
and now it's currently working on backing up the system partition. Now as we get toward the end of this Nandroid backup, you can tell it's gone through each of the partitions that we selected. So as mentioned it backed, it backed up the boot partition, then it created the MD5 for it, moved on to the system, then system image, vendor, then vendor image. It's working on the data partition now, and then it will finish up with the EFS partition. And this MD5 that it gets created is just a way for TWRP to check to see if that backup has become corrupt. Whenever you do a restore of a backup, if the MD5 does not match, that means something happened to that data. And if you do f follow through with that restore, then it could mess up the Android operating system. It could make you go into a boot loop. It could make you have to uninstall and reinstall an application. That could mean some of your photos or videos are corrupt and gone. Could mean a lot of things. Especially since it's not, it doesn't store, it doesn't take up that much space and it doesn't take a long time to create. There's just very little reason to tell TWRP to not create that MD5. See now we have completed the backup in 506 seconds. We get some statistics on our backup. And once that's done, you can go ahead and just tap on the reboot system button. But I want to show you that that backup is there. So I'm going to tap on the home button, tap on restore. And then as you can see, just like I labeled it, stock, TWRP, root, and then the date, it's right there. So once your backup has been completed, just tap on that reboot system button and that'll cause your Pixel or Pixel XL to reboot. Then it'll go through the typical boot animation sequence. And then you'll be taken right back into Android. And there you go, that is how to create your first Nandroid backup on the Pixel and Pixel XL.